Peacekeeper is a UN force supply officer who lives, breathes and speaks, I kid you not, Shoreline. This man has a sick fetish for seeing you suffer with an ocean view, and he's got the quest repertoire to live up to it. To kick things off, Peacekeeper, in a move that's going to shock nobody, sends us straight to Shoreline, specifically to stand on a beach above the PMC infested hill. Doing this quest early is like being one of those baby turtles trying to get to the ocean, except for they've probably got a higher survival rate. And trust me, the baby turtle survival rate is not good, fellas, it's super bad. Tiger Safari is basically just BP Depot, truck edition, so we can mark beacons on these trucks to be salvaged for gear, which is funny because they're all clearly empty, but perhaps there's an interior motive. Scrap Metal he'll send you to Shoreline to mark tanks, because back-to-back -back beacon missions is really what we all signed up for. Eagle Eye, more walking around Shoreline, you shouldn't have. Humanitarian Supplies, with the amount of Tarkov you're playing is something you're probably desperately going to need. Again, he has you marking pointless shit on Shoreline. The Cult Part 1 and 2 will have you investigating the mysterious cult that are scattered around Tarkov and having you sell half your stash to buy the keys that you need. In Peacekeeper's first attempt at completely breaking you, he slaps you with Spartor, psychotically describing the health resort as a beautiful facility. A questline that revolves around going here at a bare minimum seven times, you'll be wondering what his next smart idea is. Balcony Tour Part 3, Jump. Part 1 will have you headshotting scabs with a 12 gauge shotgun, pondering why all of these maniacs seem to care so much about the gun that you use. By part 2, you're beginning to think Peacekeeper might be sponsored by the MS-2000 marker and he's making you mark things just for brand exposure. For example, here he says, You surely notice the helicopter standing at the health resort pad. You can't miss it. And then goes on to say, OK, we don't know where it is and we need you to mark it so that we can find it. Part 3 is a collecting quest, so you're just trying to find tools and raid, but I do actually like how they tried to explain you not being able to buy it on the fleet, as you need to make sure the equipment's intact. Although, you will take this corrugated hose I found in a bag 40 feet below the ground in an abandoned bunker, but it's a nice try. Part 4, did you enjoy your time away from the resort? Well, too bad, it's time to get back in there in both the east and west wing, which is lucky because I think both sides have the meds that you're going to desperately need. Part 5, spoiler, shoreline again, and I'm getting as sick of saying it as you are playing it. In Part 6, Six, Peacekeeper's clearly been watching a lot of Hustlers University, as to prove your loyalty you need to give him 8 grand. Part 7, the final part will have you collecting materials to make a compound. There's not a lot to say about the next 10 or so quests, so here we're going to try and breeze through them as quickly as possible. Cargo X Part 1 would be fine, except for it makes you go to a shoreline. Cargo X Part 2 would be divine, except for you guessed it, it makes you go to shoreline. Cargo X Part 3 you'll need some wine because, again, it's time to go to Shoreline time. Wet Job Part 1, scabs are in decline because, once again, you're on Shoreline. Wet Job Part 2, a sponsor combined? Perhaps, that's MS 2000s on Shoreline. Wet Job Part 3, looking for an automobile on behalf of a swine? You guessed it, you're going to Shoreline. Wet Job Part 4, no time to dine, you're looking for tenant information on Shoreline. Wet Job Part 5, you're just wanting to resign, oh look again, we're back to Shoreline. Wet Job Part 6, and rhyme number 9, you need to go wherever you want, this is the quest that can be done all over the place. Finally bored of Shoreline, Peacekeeper says, okay then, how about every map, giving you the guide, requiring you to survive on every map subsequently without dying, a quest I've only completed once, but that final raid was probably one of the most terrifying moments of my entire life, and that's coming from someone who spent a lot of time in Birmingham. Samples is one of those quests that sit in your quest log for the entirety of the wipe because you never do it, that would require you going to labs. Terror Group Employee, you never do it, that would require you going to labs. Peacekeeping Mission will have you cosplaying as De Beer, who for the uneducated is a smurf who is tormented by inherent sadness, and yes, this is the peak of comedy. Revision is Peacekeeper's biggest MS2000 plug yet, and the cleaner is just annoying because you have to go to reserve, and I'm really starting to wonder how long I can go making that exact joke in every video. Peacekeeper lives up to the name. He is the keeper of peace, and you're not getting your dirty hands anywhere near it.